give a big round of applause to Mike Baldwin. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Give it up for the last YouTube video that you watched before this one. I hope that you liked it. <laughs> All right. They told us not to talk about the fact that there's a host of the show because people are watching this on YouTube and they don't get to see the host of the show. So I probably shouldn't have said the last t two sentences that I said. It probably ruins everything. People are, people are watching at home like, what's he talking about? There's a host. This has been a long show. P people watching on YouTube don't know that either. <laughs> They're like, what's he talking about? It's only been 30 seconds. It's like, no, nah, it was like hours before that. All right, I got, we're at the coffee place, so I'm all hopped up on coffee. Shit, do people on YouTube know that we're at a coffee place even? I'm ruining all of this. None of this makes sense. I shaved today. You should feel how smooth my balls are. <laughs> They're like as smooth as a baby's balls. <laughs> baby's butt. Baby's butt. That's the only part of a naked baby you're allowed to compare your freshly shaved balls to. Everybody, everybody knows that. Some kind of pervert. If I'm giving advice, girls, you should shave your... You already shave your legs. You shave your armpits. Keep going. I like my women like I like my coffee, without any pubic hairs. <laughs> any girl that didn't laugh at that, it's time to trim some shit up. That was less of a joke and more of like a public service announcement. <laughs> what else is funny? <laughs> Something, probably. I don't drink alcohol anymore. I used to all the time, but I quit because I did too much stupid shit yesterday. <laughs> so now I'm done forever. <laughs> no, I really did. It's been uh, a couple of years since I've had any booze. I just, I wasn't good at it, you know? I did all sorts of dumb shit all the time, and I just regretful things. I would black out and just remember pieces of the night, you know? The last time that I drank, I remember I was in Columbia, Missouri, and I got drunk with the staff of this club, and I blacked out, and I just remember, like, people giving me this look, which is like, you're being a fucking idiot, dude. <laughs> But I didn't really remember. I remember holding some married girl's hand at some point, and her husband's like, dude, what are you doing? And I was like, mind your own fucking business. <laughs> He's like, it is my business. Like, if anything, that's my business. I got busted for drunk driving twice. But, I mean, I drove drunk like 10,000 times. So really, I mean, <laughs> statistically, it was pretty good. <laughs> The first time wasn't even a negative experience for me because I was drunk. I didn't care, you know. I was like, take me to jail. I don't give a fuck. And the cop's like, yeah, no, that's where we're going. I'm just like, that's my favorite place. It's so good. Thank you. I love it there. I love the food there. I'm gonna eat a ham sandwich and an apple. 
and it's gonna cost me fifteen thousand dollars. <laughs> it's like that level of drunk pride for shit that you just shouldn't be proud of, you know? I think I hit a guy on my way here. It's like, why are you bragging about that? It's the same level of drunk where you think having your eyebrows up means that your eyes are still open. What? <laughs> the second time was worse because it was a canine cop. And that's like dog cop, you know? He had, there was a human cop with him, driving. I'm like... <laughs> doing a ma majority of the talking and stuff. But. He walked up to my car like, Dang, buddy, you look like you're a little too drunk to be driving. And I'm hammered like, uh -uh, I'm not. I'm too drunk to be talking to you. <laughs> then I just drove off. <laughs> I know, they hate that. <laughs> They're still talking to you and you're like, all right, bye. <laughs> God. That's not really how it happened. I just, I took my foot off the brake and it, it wasn't in park. So, so I was just slowly. <laughs> evading the police. <laughs> he could have been cool about it. He could have just been like, whoa, push the brake or put it in park. But he screamed at me and it scared me and shit. He's like, put it in park now. And I'm just panicked. Like, it's in park. I think you're walking backwards. <laughs> oh, no, just stop yelling. We'll figure it out as a team. I saw what he meant, though. I put it in park. I was like, touche. And like, <laughs> he was mad. But he still wanted to get me for drunk driving, so he let me get out and stand there on the side of the road because I had to do the roadside sobriety test, and that's the best place to do them. <laughs> it's just weird because, like, he already thinks that you're drunk. He just got to prove it to himself, you know? <laughs> so he'll just ask you to do stuff that drunk people will do. He'll be like, stand on your head. I want to see how long you can do that. <laughs> like, if you're sober, you're like, stand on my head, why? But when you're drunk, you're like, start the fucking timer then. <laughs> I'm like, what? I just stood on my head for like 41 seconds. Why am I still going to jail? What was wrong with it? What's wrong with the way I crab walked around your car? <laughs> He's like, I did not ask you to do that. <laughs> I was just, I was just showing you. What's next? That's the end of that part. <laughs> There's no segues with me. It's just one part ends and then we wait a second and then on to the next part. <laughs> if, they're, if they're monetizing this video, now would be a good spot to stick a commercial. <laughs> All right, welcome back. I hope you bought a new purple mattress. <laughs> or whatever the commercials are. But, uh, <laughs> I, I like my women like I like my cigarettes with small traces of my DNA on their butts. All right. That's <laughs> Um, 
I'm single. Um, <laughs> part's not funny. <laughs> I had a girlfriend for a while. I don't. We're just friends now. It's no big deal. But it's a weird transition out of being in a relationship. You know, like we lived together and stuff. We had dogs together. We didn't have them together. That'd be <laughs> fucked up, right? Like at the hospital. Like, what did I do? <laughs> Like, she owned the dogs already, and then we got together. So then I became, like, a step-dog dad. Like, they didn't respect me as much as I think they should have. <laughs> <laughs> they'd shit on the floor, and I'd be like, quit shitting on the floor! And they'd be like, you're not even our real dad! <laughs> I like being single. But I like being in a relationship, too. It's, I always just want the opposite of whatever thing that I have, you know? Like, when I'm in a relationship, I'm like, ugh. Like, I don't want to come home and see you and eat dinner together and watch TV and go to sleep. I want to go get drunk with my friends and fuck bitches. <laughs> but then I'm single, and I'm like, you know, I'd like to just come home and see the same person and, like, eat dinner together and watch some TV and... Just snuggle. I just want whatever thing I don't have. I don't know. I like being single, though. I, it's, it's all right. I'm on all the different dating apps. All of them. I might see some of you on there later on. We'll see. I see all the same girls on all the different apps. I'm like, oh, cool, you're here, too. <laughs> we can hang out together, maybe. And she's like, no. And I'm like, oh, okay. I went on a date with one girl, she was wearing high heels, and she got drunk, and she fell down. <laughs> Five-second rule. <laughs> I'm just pausing so people watching can explain it to their girlfriends. We're back again. How long is comedy? Oh, it's <laughs> longer. <laughs> this is like my nine to five job here in this 20 minutes or whatever, you know? So right now it's like 2.15 and I'm just like, ugh. <laughs> oh. My work day's going slow. I've already stopped working. I just have to wait to clock out. <laughs> I like this job, though. It's neat. I've had a bunch of jobs before I did comedy. I quit them. <laughs> All of them. I'm a quitter. I got, I got to the point that I would tell my dad that I got fired just so he wouldn't be disappointed because I quit again. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, I don't know. It's weird. They just don't need cashiers. Just sent me home. The first job that I ever had was at a hot dog place. It was called A&W Hot Dogs and more. The more was chicken sandwiches. Uh, but you had to be 16 to work there, but I was only 14, so I just lied and wrote 16 on the application and nobody ever checked. So when I turned 16 for real, they thought that I turned 18 and they let me be assistant manager. And then sales went down. Then I got to hire my friends and stuff, and we just smoked weed. We'd just sit in the back and forget to do hot dog-related shit. There were a few times that we actually forgot to cook hot dogs until a guy walked up, and he's like, hot dog, please, and we're like, oh, you're going to be mad. I drive a lot for comedy all the time. I like listening to music and stuff while I'm on the road, but I don't really listen to the radio that much because you'll find a station that you like and then you drive five minutes and you're like, that station's gone. <laughs> it sucks. I'm like, I got to pull over so I can listen to this song <laughs> before it goes away. I like audio books. I like to read audio books. <laughs> it's, it's way faster than reading regular books. It's just like one paragraph on the back of the case. She just flipped me over. Read that audio book. 
I argue with my friends because I tell stories about books that I've read, and my friends are like, you haven't read shit, dude. All you do is just listen. And it's like, so what? It's the same. Like, I'm getting the same information that one would get from reading the book. The only difference is I know how to pronounce all the names correctly. <laughs> So if anything, it's better than reading. <laughs> I remember physically reading all the Harry Potter books and being like, Hermoyne's my favorite character. <laughs> old, old wacky Hermoyne. <laughs> then the movie came out and they're like, Hermione. And I'm like, that's not how you fucking say that. <laughs> it's got an E at the end. Silent E. Hermoyne. I listened to the Game of Thrones audiobooks. Those were good. But they split all those up to where every chapter of the book is a separate track, you know? And they don't say, like, chapter 2 and chapter 12. They just start talking again. So I listened to Game of Thrones for, like, four hours before I realized it was on shuffle. <laughs> That's not even a joke. That's a thing that happened. <laughs> I was following along and shit. Like, what an interesting writing style. <laughs> He's marrying her? She's dead. Be careful tonight when you t close your laptop. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> wear, wear a condom. <laughs> Always. <laughs> I'm, I'm wearing one right now. Because <laughs> you never know. You never know. You might just be walking down the street and trip and what? Fall in. <laughs> it's weird, like, if I'm gonna sleep with a girl that I've never slept with before, whatever she says about me wearing a condom, I want to do the opposite of that, you know? If she's like, you have to put a condom on, then I'm like, well, it sounds like you say that to everybody, so I'm probably fine. <laughs> Man, that makes sense. But if she's like, just stick it in, I'm like, I want to put a condom on. <laughs> so, so wear a condom, don't drink and drive, sh shave your vagina, just a lot of really important things. <laughs> that I feel like you should take away from this tonight. I always look at my phone while I'm driving. I, I like to watch TV. <laughs> it's, it's cool, they got those things on the side of the road that tell you when you need to pay attention. What are they called, the uh, Netflix strips? <laughs> like, this is a good episode of The Office. Brrr. Oh, shit, all right. I'm, I'm watching. I use my maps all the time. Even if I already know where I'm going, I still like to punch in the address. I just like to have another voice to back me up, you know? <laughs> I'm like, I'm turning up here, right? And my maps are like, mm-hmm. <laughs> cool, that's what I thought. That's how I thought I got to my house <laughs> from the gas station by my house. I wish you could change the attitude that the voice has while it's talking to you. Like, make it give directions all sexual. Like, oh, just keep going straight, baby. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just driving with a boner. Like, yeah. <laughs> or make it ask everything in questions. Like, turn left here. <laughs> just freaking out. Like, man, I don't know. Or make it give directions like a dickhead boyfriend sitting by you, like as you pass the street, it's like, turn right there, god damn it, you're fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Or ooh, if there was like a pothead version, you're driving for like an hour and your maps thing is like, oh. <laughs> Dude, you're gonna be mad at me. <laughs> All right, I gotta go, guys. Thank you so much. <laughs>